what's going on everybody it's Patrick Minton Outdoors for my Saturday vlog I got a little story time for you so here's what happened um, Sunday night was, yeah it was Sunday night um, normally I park last one in the driveway because I'm always the second one to leave my son has his own side of the driveway with all his cars. And um, anyway, I had gone out. We were going to swap around cars, but we decided we'd eat first, swap later, this, that, and another. A bunch of things happened. Never swapped cars. Which also meant I never locked my truck that day, that night before going to bed. Which is something I rarely, rarely do. I'm always locking my vehicle because I keep stuff in here you know I keep stuff in here um, the one thing I do not keep in my truck is cash of any kind and I don't keep any of my firearms unsecured in my truck now, I have a lock box back and back I'm not going to explain where or anything but I will say there's a lock box back there to lock up a gun it's a gun safe for the car so fast forward to Monday morning, I come out and open the door, and that's when I realized, ah oh, crap, I forgot to lock the truck. And then I opened the door and said, ah. Oh. So somebody had been in the glove box and in, in the console. All the stuff's drug out. You know, it's all over the seats and everything. But I got to look and I realized I didn't take anything because I didn't find the guns or the money because there was neither one in the car, truck. And it's been a big problem around our area. Uh, people are coming from the Nashville part, Nashville area, and they know Wilson County is a, I guess they think it's a soft target, but they have gotten a lot of guns out of cars where people don't lock up their darn cars and take their guns out of cars or at least secure them in their cars. So, anyway, like I said, there were CDs in my center console. There's uh, camera mounts of all types and everything. Matter of fact, in the console above is my GPS. They didn't take it. They didn't touch it. I got magazines. I do have a few, a couple of magazines for different pistols in my truck. They didn't take those. They didn't touch those. They didn't even take the change out of the side pocket here in my truck. They didn't, they didn't take a thing. Not a thing. They were looking for guns, they were looking for money, and couldn't find either one. So they left. Now, another thing that happened too with that was my security cameras, where I've got them situated, I guess didn't catch any of it happening, uh, which tells me they, you know, getting a little bit better at it because they didn't set none of the security cameras off. Um, so I've repositioned those and by God you're going to set them off if you get anywhere near the vehicles. I thought I had it covered but I guess not. Um, so anyway, I just, I'm going to stress what they've been stressing around here to you guys is if your guns are not in some kind of gun safe in your car, take them out of the car. Quit giving these damn criminals something to work with. And that's what it boils down to is we're giving them the tools to keep continue doing bad when we just leave them in the car. Um, and if you're leaving big wads of cash in your car, uh, that's, that's no good, no way, no, either. So stop doing it. Um, but once again, lock the cars. And that's the big thing they're preaching around here. They posted it on Facebook. They posted it on Twitter. Lock your cars. Lock your cars. And I screwed up and didn't lock mine. And well, I don't. And that's what's crazy. Is I don't feel violated because they didn't take anything. There was nothing they wanted. They couldn't find a gun. They couldn't find any cash. So they didn't want any of the other stuff. Oh well, whatever. So I've learned my lesson to lock my vehicle and and. Uh, just lock the vehicle. 
but uh, that's it for now on this one keep it short and simple for a Saturday video remember check the links down below I'm sure I probably popped that up in the beginning just want to remind you and uh, thanks for watching be prepared and stay tuned for Tuesday's video later